Merry Christmas, Mini Maniacs. It is Boxing Day. If you're not British or Canadian, you might not know that that means it's the day after Christmas. Anyway, my wife asked for some mini mods. That was the easy part. The hard part's going to be fitting them. We have a black jack, otherwise known as a Union Jack, but it's black. Don't worry, the white bits are not going to be on the car. That's just the backing paper. We also have a pair of blackjack wing mirror covers. Now these are the mm, less expensive version. Normally you would unclip this whole thing and clip the very expensive ones over the top. But these ones are just self-adhesive. So we'll see how they look. There's obviously going to be some sort of ridge around here, but we'll... We'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Anyway, the first thing we need to do is clean the surface. As you can see, we've just got the car has actually been cleaned, but this is just a kind of water, rainwater stain. So I need to clean that off, but you don't clean that with polish or your adhesive vinyl will not stick to it. So let me clean that and let me clean them. Okay, roof is clean, but you can't just slap the vinyl on top. You got to let the vinyl acclimatise to the roof. You want them both the same temperature or you get all sorts of weird reactions. So I'm going to peel off the backing paper and lie them on top of where they're going to go and then we'll get to the next stage. Okay, we are ready to apply the vinyl. I'm going to be using soapy water. This is mostly water with just a couple of drops of dish soap. I'll be using a little spreader, like so. Keep a cloth on hand because there's going to be a lot of moisture floating about. Now, you don't have to use the soapy water technique and it will take longer to, you know, stabilise and stick, but Hey, it's Christmas, this car isn't going anywhere, so we've got plenty of time to let it dry. It does mean that if it sticks in the wrong place, you can move it about, take it off, it's not ruined. So, let's begin.
Don't worry about these air bubbles. This roof is curved, like most roofs. It's kind of curved that way and that way. And this application tape does not stretch. The main thing is I've got the, the actual vinyl all nice and flat. So I'm going to wait for the water to dissipate a little bit more before I peel the application tape off and then give the vinyl a final, a final squish down. While we're waiting for the vinyl to stick, let's see if we can get these little wing mirror covers on. This is going to be tricky because you have to kind of take all this tape off and kind of line it up and stick it all at the same time. So I don't know how forgiving this tape will be. I'll give it a shot. Tape is all removed. Oh, <laughs> wish me luck. At least this is flexible, so I can maybe open it a little bit as it's going on. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Retreat! Retreat! Okay. I'm going to put the, the top layer of tape back on because there's no way that it's, it's all going on at the same time. Yeah, I'm going to attempt to put this back on for now. And then hopefully peel it off in situ, if you know what I mean. So basically I'll be sticking the bottom side on first. I did think about doing this at the start, but, you know, I got all cocky and thought I could just do it. But there you go. So the updated plan then is... Get the bottom bit stuck. I'm going to leave a little dog ear here to grab. Hopefully. Hopefully it'll work this time. So, sticking it on round there first and then peeling this off when it's in situ. Okay, not perfect. It was never going to be perfect, but uh, not too bad. Now you can peel off this protective film to reveal its shiny awesomeness. Oh wow, they're actually really nice. Very nice. Okay, right, I'll use the same technique on the other side and uh, maybe get an even better job. Can't it be any worse. I had to make lots of dog ears this time, little grab tabs. The other side was one complete strap. Equally as bad, but hey, at least they're symmetrical. Protective film removing. You know what, I'm pleasantly surprised at how nice they are. Really nice finish. Hmm, wonder how the roof's getting on. <sighs> Let's see if this is going to behave. It's obviously still wet, but that's okay. I still need it a little bit wet to do the final the final squishing of the air bubbles 
This is always the case. The application tape is stickier than the vinyl. Now I'm going to wait a bit longer. Give a bit more of a chance to adhere to the roof. Change of plan. If I was doing this in summer, outside, in the sun, it would all be dry by now and I could peel off the application tape. But it's just not warm enough and the, the water is not, it's just not drying. So at the moment the application tape is much stronger than the adhesive, you know, holding the vinyl to the roof. So my plan is to use the backing tape more of a guide, if you like. So I'm going to take a strip. I've already done this little triangle, you can't see it at the moment. And I'm going to cut the application tape all the way down here. This is one of the stripes, one of the diagonal crosses in the Union Jack. And this is the only way I'm going to be able to do this at the moment. I'm only cutting the application tape. Like so. You really couldn't do this method with a complete flat image. It has to be sections. So I'm drying the section underneath on the roof. And now I will apply the application tape and the, the graphic down, like so. And this will give me a much easier area to work with. Like so. Now I've been very careful with my spreader because I don't want to scratch the vinyl now. And we can smooth this down. Not ideal, but it works. Right, I'll see you in about uh, 20 minutes. Full disclosure, that may have taken a tad more than 20 minutes. I think it turned out pretty good though. I'll let you see it in a minute. But for now, that's me for the mini mods, until my wife decides she wants even more. If you are interested in the mini, please leave a comment, subscribe. Uh, if you're interested in kit cars, I'll be working on that in the coming year, and I've still got my hot rod I'm working on. Thanks for watching. Till the next time, happy Christmas and a prosperous new year. Bye.